What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go over the investments you should be having 40 to 50 of coming up for the roster update in the next 12 to 14 days. Spencer Steer was somebody that I gave you guys earlier in the season. You should have 30 to 50 of each of these cards. Now, if people are not performing in real life, be smart and sell them off. Right now, Spencer Steer is batting over a thousand OPS, a 372 for the season with three home runs and 15 RBIs. He recently got supercharged. That right there lets you know he's on SDS's radar. I can see him, if he stays healthy, getting up to a 82 to 83 overall over the next two roster updates. Now, he's a left fielder, he has terrible defense, but it kind of boosts on the defensive side and with his hitting attributes that he's been crushing the ball, he will keep going up. Ozuna from the Braves. He's coming on right now, he started the season off kind of shaky and he's a 76 overall, priced up to around a 78 overall, top 10 in RBIs, home runs, and OPS. 12 RBIs, he's in 5th place, top 10 in OPS. If you guys want to know every stub gap in the game, make sure you go in the link in the description. Become a member today. I'm going to be giving you all my roster investments because I'm going to have between 12 and 14 players because I'm trying to get 400 to 500,000 stubs on every roster update. 12 RBIs, 5th in the league. Top 10 in OPS. SDS has to have him on the radar. Braves success while Acuna is doing bad is between Ozuna and Olsen. Them two have been helping carry the team. Right here we go over to Cleveland. Josh Naylor. Top 10 in OPS. Over the last 7 games he has 3 bombs. So he's starting to hit with power. Top 20 average in the league even above Otani who's a 93-94 overall in the game. Over the last seven games he's been seeing the ball good. 26 at bats only three strikeouts so his contact is gonna have to go up. His power is gonna go up if he keeps crushing the ball like he has been over the next week and then they will have their final people that they're going to adjust. I can see him at an 83 overall, quick sell value, getting that plus one, but hopefully a plus two. If not, he's only 1,200 stubs. That's the bare minimum. You can sell him back off. Now, the best pitchers was Bieber. He got injured, so I don't know what SDS is going to do with him. He was a 78 overall. He was definitely going to get that plus two bump, so you can invest in him. Just get 10 of them just in case. Tanner, Hawk, Crawford, Cutter Crawford is another great pitcher, but they are 71s and lower overall. So once you see action on these type of cards, Brady Singer, Cutter Crawford, the 72 overalls, once they become silvers, get them at their lowest price. As soon as they become silvers, grab them around quick sell, hold on to them. Like I said, 25, 30 to 50 cards, and then just let the magic happen. MLB The Show 24 is a patience game. You don't need the best cards as soon as they come out. You don't need to spend money. All you got to do is be smart, work the market 25, 30 minutes a day, get the cards that I'm telling you. And when the big roster updates come out, you can go ahead and cash out and walk away with 300 to 500,000 stubs. Buy any player that you want. Just play the game, do all the free stuff in the game, and stay tuned to the channel.